Hello everybody, I hope you had a lovely day in the sun. So today we're going to draw some sea creatures. We're going to get started straight away. All you need is a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil or a colouring pencil. So I'm going to start up here in this corner and I'm going to draw a turtle, a sea turtle. So a turtle has a nice round head. We're going to start by drawing half a circle like that. And then he's got sort of a pointy nose, so this is going to be his little nose. So I'm going to go up a bit to make the point, come across and then draw the smile like that. Now he needs a little nostril, a nose hole and a happy eye just above his smiley face. And of course an eyebrow. And now we're going to draw his chin. So his chin is underneath his face like this. So in a bit from the point we're going to go down like that and there's his little head so now we're going to focus on the tortoise's lovely shell sorry the turtle's lovely shell so we're going to draw this shape this sort of half a curve half a circle here from the back of his head so we're going to go down along and up and then we can join the top half of the shell so from the back of his head i'm going to go up and around all the way across and back down to join that line that we made before. So a turtle shell has a lovely pattern on it and I'm going to start by giving mine a border. So I'm going to follow the line that I drew before and then they have a lovely organic texture so that means that nature makes the the shape and the pattern on their shell so every turtle is different meaning you can make the shape whatever you like. So I'm going to make a pattern just made of lots of lovely shapes and lines. So it's a bit like a human fingerprint. Everybody is completely different. So this is a bit like a mosaic, like lovely tiles on his back. So there's my turtle shell. Now I need to give him some fins or flippers. I'm not sure what they're called on a turtle actually. You can tell me if you know. So I'm going to come down from his neck and then I'm going to give him his first flipper. I'm just going to call them flippers. So I'm going to go down towards the back. I'm going to curve and then I need to come back in and up but stop a bit short because we need to do his belly. So I'm going to go in and up and then I'm going to draw his belly and then he needs a back flipper. So I'm going to do a curve like that. And now he needs a little tail, so I'm going to follow the curve of his belly up and past the back of his shell. And then I'm going to join that to a tip to make his little tail. Now turtles have lovely patterns on their skin as well. So I'm going to draw a few circles and a few dots on his skin. doesn't matter where you put them because, again, each turtle is different. So I'm going to do some on the top of his head as well. There we go, there's our lovely turtle. So now you need a bit of space for this next character because he has eight legs. Can you guess what he is? He is an octopus. So an octopus has a big round head. We're going up from the, this is the front of his face now. We're gonna go up and round, that's the top of his head. And we're gonna do the back of his head which is this sort of weird curved shape. He's got a bit of a lump at the back of his head. We're going to give him two happy eyes and some eyebrows. And now we need to concentrate because we need to count eight lovely legs. So I'm going to curve my first leg up and around and then I'm going to come back on myself. And I'm going to follow that line and try and make it the same thickness the whole way down. So I'm going to follow the line that I drew before and stop about there. And then I need to do seven more legs. So you can make them any shape. They can be curled. This next one I'm going to do a bit of a curled shape. So I'm going to curl up. Follow it back round. That's our second leg. And then I'm going to go down for my third leg. Come back up. Follow the line. I'm going to make this one really curly. So I'm going to curl that in and around and back up so that's his fourth leg so he needs four more so one good 
Do another curly one, two. This is the seventh leg. Go down. And in the last leg is going to go up here like he's going, hey! <laughs> he's having a little dance. Now I'm going to give him a few circles on his, on his body because he's got a nice pattern on him as well. So it doesn't matter where you put them, but just a few circles to show the texture of his skin. I'm going to put some on his legs as well. Sorry, tentacles I should say. His eight tentacles. And I'm just going to put them wherever. Don't think too much because... You know, every octopus is different. It's going to give him a bit of texture to bring him to life. So a few dots, a few circles, just like that. And if you wanted to, you could add some tentacles, not some tentacles, sorry, some suckers to the bottom of his tentacles, which you would just draw like that. So they're these little square shapes, and that's how they really stick onto things, like onto the coral. You could add those to the bottom of the tentacles if you wanted to. I'm going to leave him like that for now. And I'm going to use this little bit of space that I've got here to make a little crab. So a crab has an oval body, which is a long circle. So I'm going to go up and across and down. And I'm going to join up that oval. So you've got his body. Now you need six little legs. So I'm going to draw three on this side and three on this side. And they're like little fingers, like little bendy fingers pointing out of his body. So that's one, two, three, and exactly the same on the other side. One, two, three. And I'm going to give him some eyes. So crab eyes are quite weird. They're kind of on these little posts like that. So it's like a finger sticking out the top of his head and then the eye is at the tip. And we're going to do the same on this side. So like a finger with an eyeball at the top. I'm going to give him two happy eyebrows and a little smiley face. And now the most important part of a crab is the pincer. So I'm going to go out of his belly, curve around like that, like a bit of a C shape, a bit of a curly cur shape. And then I'm going to make his pincer shapes, which, if you're old enough, they look like Pac-Man. And if you're young, well, I'm just going to have to show you. So it's a circle, but don't complete the circle. Stop about there. And then we're going to do a, se a segment out of the circle, so like a V shape. So like that. That's his first pincer. Now we're going to do this one on this side. Exactly the same, but the opposite shape. So we're going to come round. Do the V shape and finish the circle. So there's our little crab. Now we're going to draw a scary shark. So a shark has a big tail. And we're going to go down and in. And then we're going to do exactly the opposite, like there's a mirror in the middle. So we're going to go out and down. Now we're going to draw this top part of his tail. So we're going to curve it and stop there. Now we're going to draw the rest of the shark over here. So he's quite long and then he's got a pointy face. So we're going to draw a straight line. But as we go along, we're slowly going to go up on the page. He has a little fin right at the back of his tail. We're going to go along and up again. And then we're going to draw his big scary fin that he's famous for. So that's the fin that comes out of the water in all the films that you see when he's being scary. So you go up, curve it to the back and curve round. And then we're gonna continue along and we're gonna do his pointy face. So we're gonna to start to curve down, but give his nose a bit of a point like that. And then we have to finish the rest of his body, the bottom of his body. So we're gonna curve this tail up and in the bottom of his tail. And we need to slowly think about how we're gonna join this bit of the shark. So we're going to come along a bit and he's got another fin at the bottom, at the back here. We're going to slowly start to come down and we're going to draw his big fin at the back here. So go down, back towards the tail, forwards and up and that's his bottom fin. And then we're going to continue this line all the way around 
we're going to curve up slowly. We need this line to join up to this line. So we're going to curve, curve, curve and up. And now he needs a nice white belly. So sharks are white at the bottom and grey at the top. So from this corner here, from this tip, we're going to draw a line to split the shark so that you can see he's got one colour different to the top and stop there because his fin goes over his belly. The belly is under. So we're going to do the same here. This line we're going to continue all the way to the tip of his nose. We're going to curve it up. And now he needs some gills. So sharks breathe underwater by filtering oxygen through these slits that they have in the side of their head. They're called gills. We're going to give him a nice big eye and an eyebrow, of course, because obviously sharks have eyebrows, a little nostril and a smiley face. And then he needs some, some sharp teeth. So we're going to give him some triangle teeth along his happy mouth. And there we go, there's our shark. So now we're gonna draw a whale. Let's see if we have space here. Let's try and make space for the whale. So I'm gonna start by doing his nice, big, round head. So we're gonna go up and round. And then we're gonna start to come back down again. So this is his head and we're gonna do the tail up here. Going to go down and then we go back on ourselves and up and then the tail goes here. So the tail is this big curved shape here. This is a bit complicated so we'll go nice and slow and it's going to join back up to about here. So we're going to do a curve at the top like this. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side like there's a mirror here. So we're going to do this curve up here. Can you see it's exactly the same, just flipped. And so this shape over here needs to be the same as this shape, but just flipped. So we're going to go in, down, curve in and stop there. So that makes his lovely tail shape. And now we're going to curve this line around. So we're going to do his bottom. And we're going to stop about there because we need to do a fin over here. So we're going to do his happy mouth now. We're going to go, we're going to do a line like that. And we're going to draw a big fin. So like the shark, he has a big fin here. And then because like the shark, he is a different colour at the bottom and a different colour at the top. So we're going to follow this line around. Don't worry, it might look a bit strange at the moment, but just trust me, it's going to be okay. And now we need to follow this line all the way around to make the bottom of his belly and his mouth. So we're going to curve the line round so that it starts to follow this top line. We're going to give him a chin, so we're going to come down and curve and this line needs to end up so that it's level with this line. So we're going to join the line up. Can you see now the whale shape? We're going to give him a happy eye, a little eyebrow and a blowhole. So whales hold their breath for a long time, but then they go to the surface to get air. So that's where he gets his oxygen from. I'm gonna give him another fin at the back, so that one's behind him. And then we're gonna give him some lines on his belly. So we're gonna continue the line behind the fin and up. The same with that one. I'm gonna go the whole way down give him this lovely pattern that a whale has. There we go, and there's your whale. So finally, I thought it would be fun to draw a walrus because they are really silly creatures. So a walrus has this little tail at the end. It's really tiny in comparison to their big body. You'll see in a minute, it's really silly. So now I'm gonna draw his bottom and his back so it curves up and across and then he needs a little head shape so we need to do the curve of his head and then go down to be level with the bottom of his tail and then we're going to join this line go curve and join the line so that's the basic shape of the walrus now a walrus has two big tusks 
So we're going to start them about here. So leave a bit of a gap because we need to do his nose and his eyes. We're going to leave a gap. We're going to start this first tusk here. We're going to go down. They're really long. So we're going to go do it like a triangle. And then we're going to do the same for this one over here. So down and back up like a long triangle. And then he has this little shape there. And this is where his nose is going to be. So we can draw two nose holes there. And then his mouth, sort of his nose area, is like a circle over the top of the horns, of the tusks, sorry. And he has a little chin. And we can give him two happy eyes like that and two eyebrows. And then he has these little fins here. So this fin, or oh, flipper, is going to go that side. And he needs one on this side as well. And then we're going to give him some wrinkles because he's got lots of lovely wrinkles on his body. So a bit like this. He's got lots of rolls of skin and fat. He's really warm and ready for the cold sea. So there you go. There's your walrus. So I hope you enjoyed those. They were a bit more difficult today. So I hope it was okay to follow along and let me know what you'd like to see tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.